Rugby, American football, two brutal sports with an egg-shaped ball and two brilliant sports in their own right. But which is better? Let's find out! Round one, history. Both sports have proud histories. Rugby began when a kid called William Webb Ellis picked up the ball during a game of soccer at school, ran over the goal line with it and celebrated his score. Instead of being bullied and given a dead leg, Webb Ellis was heralded as a pioneer. Australia and New Zealand took to the sport immediately because back then they had nothing else to do. No change there then. Football began early last century when two professors from Harvard said, Rugby's boring. Let's invent a new version but using the protective gear from American gladiators and and the leotards as well. Football wins the first round. Even back then, they were thinking of the merchandise. Round two, teams. An American football team has as many as 10,000 players. These players spend roughly seven seconds on the pitch at any one time. Rugby has teams of 15 men who aren't allowed to leave the pitch until their ears have gone inside out. Rugby wins the second round. Three, cheerleaders. Football teams don't just have football players, they also have cheerleaders. Cheerleaders run onto the field of play at any given opportunity and wave bits of tinsel for no apparent reason. But cheerleaders in football are way better than those in rugby. I mean, look at this lot. They don't even have pom-poms. What a disgrace. Another win for football. Ah. Round four, equipment. In American football, players grab as much padding as they possibly can. You name it, they wear it. Mattresses, pots and pans, colanders, that square bit of foam your parents use to protect their knees while digging out weeds in the backyard. Then, as if that isn't ridiculous enough, they cover themselves from head to toe in a spandex onesie. What does rugby do in comparison? I'll tell you. A mouth guard. That's it. Nothing else. A mouth guard. Why are they only focused on protecting their teeth? We British have the worst teeth in the world anyway. Rugby wins this round for the sheer cheek of it. So after four rounds, we're tied at two apiece. Now it's your turn. Which do you think is the better sport? Let me know in the comments below. And here's an idea. Let's put this football player and this rugby player on a field and give them unlimited tackles on Justin Bieber. Not sure how that would settle the debate, but the world needs to see it. Back to you!